News for this happening now. The biggest agricultural fall fair of the season is underway in Connecticut. The Durham Fair runs through Sunday. News 8's Bob Wilson is there live checking things out. Mm. Bob? Mm -hmm. oh, are we on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're on. Yeah, that's right. A Harley Davidson, $20 if you win the raffle here at the Durham Fair. It's uh, benefiting the New, England's, uh, New England Carousel Museum. That's right. A lot of fun stuff here that you might not know about, like Harley Davidson's. Everyone knows about the fried dough and Ferris wheels, but how about like fairy houses and gold mining? My favorite part of the fair is the crafts. The rides. The food. Because these cheese fries are like the bomb. Jamaican beef patties. Chicken tenders from the Falcons booth. I'm here to see the animals every year, and I just love them. Of course the fair has roosters, sheep, goats, llamas, and fried dough, but did you know you can help release hundreds of monarch butterflies? When you think of the fair, you think of sheep and goats and things, but here are caterpillars and butterflies. Yes, we have monarch butterflies here, and we are here to show all the life stages. What Monarch Watch does is they track the butterflies where they fly. Put these little serial numbers on the wing of a butterfly, just like this. Come to the Durham Fair and release a butterfly, monarch butterflies. You just set them on the plant? Yep. And off he'll go. Last year, two of our butterflies made it to Mexico. We're in fruits and vegetables. Fruits of these are all the one awards. Yes. I mean that, that almost looks like an alien brain. Yeah, I know. They're fabulous, aren't they? <laughs> they are fabulous. They really are. I mean, I don't what is that? It's a It's a gourd. A gourd a crown. crown of thorns. Crown of does the guy just make that up or is that really an no, actual that's thing? It's actually a gourd, yep. Fruits and vegetables, they're a lot of fun, but how about the large pumpkins? These are massive pumpkins. They started growing a month ago. At the height of growing season, they can grow two pounds an hour. If you think it's hard to grow the pumpkins, how about the world's largest squash. All right, so this one's about 1,700 pounds. What's the record? I believe it's 1,808. I have a couple of friends that do this, and it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, so much work to get them to that size. It really is. It starts with a soil test, then we go to genetics, uh, feeding. We got to have luck with the weather. We got to go down to the water about halfway. Come on, bud. You wouldn't think of mining at a fair. Yeah, it's really cool. It's educational. We love seeing the look on kids' faces when they pull out all the different gems, and then we get to teach them about it, too. This one's my favorite. This is called labdurite. So if you shine it in the light, see how it turns all blue and purple? What's your favorite? It, it, um, this one. All right, we're back here with Marigold the Cow. Everybody's getting in for pictures. We're taking selfies here. Say we'll post it. Say cheese, everybody. Cheese. I'll let you on a secret about the butterflies. Today was too windy to release the butterflies, so they're going to be releasing extra butterflies tomorrow. You want to get on it? Come on down here. Grab the Montiark butterflies and let them go. That's what's going on here at the Durham Fair. I'm Bob Wilson. Marigold the Cow, News 8. Making memories since the early 1900s sure. at the Durham Fair.